It is a combination of seasonal Italian and Southern soul. Chef Rob Ryan Smith from Noble Crust is back with another delicious recipe just opening uh, in Wiregrass, by the way. Yep. Officially in my uh, neck of the woods, Wesley Chapel. Welcome back. Thanks. Thanks for having me. It's always a pleasure being here. How's it going in Wesley Chapel? It's going really good. Are my peeps treating you well? Oh, yeah. Everyone there is awesome, super energetic, you know, really into it. I think you can tell they're genuinely happy that yes. we're there. So, and we're happy to be there as well. So, it's okay, going really good. Good, good. So, it's going well. And uh, apparently, things are going well here on the stove because you're already dove into making your yep. recipe. What are we cooking today? So, today we're making a mushroom and mascarpone ravioli with uh, truffle butter and sun dried tomatoes. Um, it's one of those dishes where it has, you know, it has heavy and it has light. It has nice acidic brightness from sun-dried tomatoes and the really decadent truffle butter as well. If so. people have not gone yet to Noble Crust, obviously you have the one in Wesley Chapel. There's uh, um, another one opening in Carrollwood <laughs> soon. That's right. We're not stopping oh. this year. <laughs> but how do you explain what it is? I mean, we kind of set it up a little bit, but how do you best describe what you guys so are trying to do there? We're seasonal time with Southern Soul. Um, you know, we, we changed the menu with the seasons as well as our specials are revolving every month. Um, I would think you would have to do that as a yeah, restaurant these days. Exactly. Isn't that what people are looking for? They yeah. want fresh ingredients. They want what's in season. Yeah, exactly. It's good that uh, you know restaurants, chefs, and the consumer. It's that's kind of the par for the course mm -hmm. now. Is that's what they they expect. That's the standard. So it's good. It's it makes it good for everyone. You know. And uh, so what are we doing here? I see you just putting things in. Yep. Let's let's kind of break it so down. So this is for super us. easy. We make our mushroom mascarpone ravioli in house, but you can buy them at Italian mar market uh, store. Like super you buy quick. them already stuffed. Uh, you, yeah, you could. We make them. Okay, we make you. them all, okay. but you can't buy But Natalie these. version would be already <laughs> yeah, stuffed exactly. bought at a store. So they cook in about two minutes. What is it, that you just put? Uh, this is truffle paste. So the trick what to is pasta. truffle paste? So truffle paste is paste from black truffle, which is a tuber. It's a type of mushroom. Okay. You can smell that. It's super aromatic. Like, it smells that, good. Yeah. Oh, I do smell the so truffle smell. So we cook the uh, raviolis for about two minutes. The trick to it is a little pasta water for the sauce. There's butter already in there. I have Why uh, pasta water and not just regular water. It's an old one. I mean, they say okay. it helps it out because the starch in there, but any water will do. Okay, but, yeah. all right, okay. Yeah. I stick to it. That's to, what to you had right there. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> so we finished a little bit of chives, sun dried tomato, butter, uh, roasted oyster mushrooms. I'm going to plate it over here. Sounds good, yeah. smells good. And I gotta say, good. you could really smell as soon as you put that truffle. Yeah, this is a really easy dish if you can, if you can find them. Making the mushrooms is gonna turn it into a completely different story if you're making it at home, which is fun to do, but buy the mushrooms, finish it with a little bit of Parmesan cheese. Now, is this on your menu? If we go yes. there today, can we get this? Yep. Okay. This is on the menu, both, both, both locations. And, and uh, one other big thing on your menu, maybe not even necessarily on your menu, but people are loving your brunch. Yes. Let's discuss brunch. So brunch is, is a super fun two couple of days. We have DJ brunch on Sundays, the first Sunday of every month. Um, we're open at 10 o'clock at Wesley Chapel, so that's a little earlier than that mm -hmm. St. Pete location. But, you know, we have a really good, it's, it's more Southern focused on the brunch, less of time, which is, still has both on there. But, um, yeah, we're just really busy. It's a good vibe going in there. Everything's delicious. Great cocktails, so you know, it's just a good place to be. What does what does Southern brunch necessarily mean? What would you classify? Are we talking Lots like of biscuits? Biscuits We have some health, more on the health conscious side of this too. But yeah, lots of biscuits. Uh, lots of great Benedicts, like short rib Benedict. Um, our Southern Benny was country ham, fried green tomatoes, mm. brown butter hollandaise. So yeah, that is perfect. You like it? Awesome. Yes. Thank you. So good. Nice. Um, I was gonna say. So we've got the brunch, we've got the meal, we've got the good recipe. I also see some examples and uh, possibly a bottle of rosé. Yeah. Let's pop it open. Let's line. go. <laughs> now we're we're getting ready to uh, to yeah, talk with good. the gentleman here about uh, some wine connoisseuring. So I think that's just only appropriate, right? Absolutely. I'll say while oh, Carly's was, diving sorry, in, I was I, just I, eating. Yeah. <laughs> Can we get the wine? Yeah. Let's go ahead. Pour it up. Natalie needs, a, uh, Natalie needs a glass. It's research. Interview. It's just research for my next interview, Carly. I say, I All hope right. this bottle's open. Otherwise, this segment could get really, really messy here. Yeah, <laughs> Saber with a knife. Oh, man. Are we, oh. I don't have a Oh, I don't have a wine opener. <laughs> man. Teasing you. Uh, teasing me. Okay, well, I'm sure it is wonderful. Recipe looks good. We're going to have it on our website as well. Thank, Thank you. you so much for Congrats. coming. Congrats. And again, Carol so Wood opening soon, opening this fall, right? That's right. All right.